Dynasty for once. They're going to push it back into the range of damage, but there's Black Hole with the jump. Black Hole straight onto 23. They're going to get put to a stop. 23 backing off. Can he get out of the wick on command? The he Boundless. The Boundless Strike takes him out. 23 dead for two minutes. No buyback. And they just do exactly what we were saying. They just blink in. They don't care. The sniper does absolutely nothing. Lorna. And K1 clean it up. Takes out Q. The buybacks are coming out here from Aurora. It's a good rolling thunder from Lorenov. He's doing a lot. I mean, Analog's getting held pretty low. He's killing everybody. He kind of is. I mean, Analog, he's also dead. He actually killed everybody. Lorenov is still alive. The shield protected. The Eon just is also going to give him a chance to back off. Can he get away from Schofield? The bash comes out. Lorenov, he's still, still alive. alive. He's surviving through it all. Lorenov. He's he, going to go back in. I mean, he absolutely is. K1's out of mana. They can slowly but surely take this CK down. What? Sure, it cost them three buybacks, but they... Jump is there. Ah, oh, he's going to scout out now. Natsumi in the Roshan pit as well. The Aegis Shiro, he's picked it up. The Terrible Aegis got it. Natsumi is down. The Ursa has lost his life as Gabby would least trade with you. And now Echoes to drop the boot. Gabby's the real oh. carry. Gabby will get it done. No Natsumi necessary. Shiro oh, to drop Shiro. the boot. Triple kill for Gabby. And it might just be an ultra. Shiro, what can you do? The end. Oh, Gabby's down. He does at least find the beast buff. Or on copy and the hook. He got the hex on the TA. He did. He's that a little bit too deep, though. It seems like it. Shiro's not comfortable with this. Already being deterred by the Rolling Thunder. Copy needed to go for the pounce. He pushes forward, hits the hook, gets the dismember. Now the ultimate is out on from Shiro. Now, Refresh. can they get a second refresh? Hold. A second life, look at that healing going on. Man, it is so much. He's back up the full once again. A hook somehow, a little bit off the mark, but that's okay. Yes, Yuma got the disengage. Gunner is also going to be able to roll away. But Copy is being torn apart Yo, still. Another side being put in with the spear on the top of the The damage, PYW just... Maybe. Oh, body blocks into Heritage. hook. Heritage, he huh? knows what's going on. He's got oh, to know. Oh, the hook. They drag him back, he gets off his BKB, he is gripped up. Can we get in here with Notice? The Enigma the Tiny will swing back in to kill off Moose, keeping Kiritich alive. FNG's trap pike inside, the Cog's there, a cage, making sure that the Butcher cannot escape. The Abomination's being destroyed, and the Black Hole's there from Notice. Two trap, three make it with a toss back on the SF. This is utter annihilation. Virtus Pro carve through Beast Coast here, and Elmi Show, he'll hand over his life to a triple kill. Get and if Virtus TP is both, are they committing to this? Whoa, 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 quit! Durancho, what are you doing TP? here? Tims is already here looking to defend. The BKB is out. They've got the tier 4 down, but surely they can't end this game right here. I don't believe it. They're no, I don't think so. The Ancient, it's not even low here. They're From just going, wait, he buys back. They want to do this right now. But Quinn, he's getting so low. Surely he loses life here. I'll be honest, they're going for the end. 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 Holy shit. <laughs> Lane Skidder does get caught by an avalanche, but the toss is out as well. Q setting up on Skidder. Skidder's got some help coming in from the backside. Oh. Here comes the Epi and the Barrow Strike. Maori landing on two. He found Kingslayer with a taboo. They'll take down Jabs on top. A triple kill for Maori. As it might just be an Ultra in a second. Q also caught. No chance of survival. There's an Ultra for Maori. Needs to get slowed down just a bit for the other two courts to get online. A lot of lane pulling shenanigans, but Mira might pay the price for it as he lets Durachio get a get too close. And Durachio is going to keep this battle going as uh, he puts damage on to collapse. Now he might die for this one, but I almost feel like it's a, an exchange that's worth it because he thinks Celery is going to be able to outman fight collapse, but he will not collapse. They move up it. They know that the Aegis has been picked up, but they're not afraid to try and find the they fight. They get a two-man hook shot. The two of them. They get the cogs down, the supernova as well. Look at the push forward to be able to take on three. With the three-man black hole, it's a beautiful one from Matt. As they get the clean up. Oh. Jump. Some of the jump. They're going to see if they can try and burst nice through the There's going to be a toss back safety. But Collapse is ever getting on top of the three of them. Burst and They're able to take Skeeter down. Collapse looks over towards Snaking. Gets the grab as well. On towards the mile. They're taking out the Chen. They're taking out the Brute. They're taking out the they Four. Might get of them. The tiny Mallory two. is the last one left alive. But the Bushwhack setup's there. Sure, he's got the Aegis, but on his own, they should be able to deal with him twice. Oh Team Spirit. Goodness. They're able to hold. <laughs> they only lose the top set of racks. They won't be losing the mid set of racks. And they'll be keeping this game alive long with a triple kill. This this game is... Just, uh, oh, what, what do we got here?
Oh, are they? Oh, okay, meanwhile, on the other side. Get yeah, this is He's difficult for fight. Falcons to try and find this fight. They are going to attempt to do so. They missed the bushwhack, jump forward. They're going for the spear, but the spear doesn't connect. And now they just turn, burst through Amar. XM's in for the BKB. The supernova will be taken out by Falcons, but they've already lost two heroes, both Crit and Amar dead. XM. They'll turn over towards it. The balance strike's out, but Arme's able to turn Beautiful to the Monkey King. Return, use the balance strike against him. Beautiful lineup there coming in from Arme as he turns into the Monkey King, continues to chase forward. They're going to be able to catch the entirety of Falcons. Is extreme. Get every decision. They're gonna try. Else. They're gonna sell onto XM. They're gonna go straight for the Beastmaster. XM's able to get the BKB off. They couldn't burst him. They're barely getting down to half base. Excuse three XM's able to turn with the raw over towards Malarine. Xing Q's looking for his target. Who does he want to go for? He's, he's trying to chase down Snaking. Arme's oh, picked up a triple kill. Xing he's able to get the setup so they can fight even more. The figure comes in. Arme follows. There's a six smoke. They get the Aegis. The team needs to get here really fast off the mount. The ice path is already down. They pull him back. Rolling Thunder in as well from Quinn. They've got no one. In comes Fisher of the God Strike, but it's not enough. But it's Watson's turn to get active here on the Morphling. Trying to just do what damage he can, but no one's do dying no on the damage. side of Gaming Gladiators. The only thing that's hurting them is their own. Oh, that this was is one six of your smoke. chances. Question is, will you find anything? The roar comes out. Ace just gets right on top of the faceless void and he's dead. He does have a buyback. They've caught Quinn onto the backside. A nice dive in. There's going to be the egg, but where's your time zone? The team's already gone. Gaming Gladiators have backed out. They need to kill Ace, but he's got a cheese ready. And there is time zone, but where's the follow up? You need more damage. Gleipnir is out. Can you get Ace? They do. Celery in trouble as well. The burn is there. No one with the BKB protecting him, but they've got on top of Watson. He needs to sunder something and fast. Who's it gonna be? They're just chasing him into the trees. I don't know what happened. He just, he didn't get a good sunder. The vessel was there. They just turn it around. Roshan, the team spirit have the power to be able to contest. With their double Blink Daggers initiations, they have the opportunity, but they lack the initiation here to get the Proud Aurora off on the Sand King. And with the BKB on the Razor and that Shard pulling him in, aren't they going to use the RP to try and bail him out? Collapse says no, not for now. Mickey diving past the Tier 2. His BKB now worn thin. It's going to be RP'd underneath the Tier 2. Try and get the He's stolen skewer away from Boxy to be able to heal out Mickey. Mickey getting some distance. Radon, Yatoro needs the vision. He can't quite get it. He misses the kill on Mickey. This time it's Liquid who uses all of their heroes in conjunction to bail out their carry and they will wipe team spirit in the pro literal dream he's gonna have 33 right behind him so they might be able to get oh no he got the blink away before the damage came in oh that's bad now they're gonna be slowed down by the shivas mickey is gonna be able to hit them from behind 33 is just gonna charge in oh, he knows this fight is good for them all they have to do is just catch as many heroes as humanly possible and it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be four it's gonna be a fifth one spotted on the trap nisha jumps for him can't quite get him but they will take a four for nothing against spirit so we are picking up ramses once again bkb still lacking the recipe so he's a fairly easy target just gonna pop the roar immediately. I mean, there are TPs coming, but they are gonna be all too late, I think, because Ramses, he will lose his first life. Here comes the rest of Tundra, though. Thompson, he's onto Ari already. Egg drop by Sep. Is it gonna be able to get off in time? It does. Ramses and Minecraft both going down. Meanwhile, Ari, he does drop a Thompson. He gets doomed up now. He can't do much to help out. Pew is gonna rush in anyway. He'll try to go for the man fight on his own, but can he do it? It's 1v5, Pewer. You'll get out of there, the smiley face from Sam! <laughs> <laughs> are... He's trying yeah. to start out. Oh. Who they got? It's gonna be the Nyx. Ari is gone. My back is out. Ari's gonna rejoin. Whisper in the meantime. He's gotta do battle to Ramses already, but Ramses has no roar anyway. He's got no spots to throw out. Whisper's already down. They've already caught the Weaver. Tabata's gone on top. This is an absolute disastrous fight. They're still trying here on OG, but it's already over. Beezy have tried to get up. The roar is done for Ramsey's. Seb the only one left. The Icarus Diver out, trying to buy a bit of time, and Seb is set to fall. So he will wave his friends goodbye. An ultra kill for Pure. King Slayer, they're in with the setup. Rolling Thunder to start things and a beautiful follow-up there from XM. They keep King Slayer completely locked oh. down. XM's actually going to get trapped. Stuck. 
to the side, but they already got what they came for. They got the big kill, they got the void. They're going to try and see if they can get more as XM jumps forward. Found the strike down. Is the Remnant also able to grab back Q? They've taken the jabs out. And maybe another. They want to try. The Cookie, I mean, XXS, he is able to jump forward with a shield crash. They're able to keep chasing them up towards the tier three. Xingju's tapped They're the base. I mean, this is quite a bit of a dive. Under tier fours. Okay. He's in. I mean, he gets <laughs> oh my it. goodness. He might get more. They get the Remnant onto the Invoker. They're going to try for Lauren off there under the tier fours. What's going on? They're killing him in the base. Oh, dear. Ultra kill. Get the, get the Rampage. Oh, in my the goodness. base. If he gets the Rampage, do it. The Come Remnant. On. It catches. Oh, he's got the Ray. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh, X -X -S, my goodness. How dare XXS, you? you're off the squad. He pinged it. No one. He's in with the jump. Off from a first they the first stun. They were able to pop the link because he's still able to jump back to the safety of the high ground. The turns towards Nightfall. Nightfall. Keeping cool with the BKB for now. Doesn't want to press it. Might need to soon. And now he will. BKB goes the straight. They're going to turn straight over towards the Amber. They've got the control here with the stun. Right, he's forced, forced down to the side. The stun's there though from Nightfall. He jumps in. He's got enough to take. No one down. He hasn't. He no one's not. able to get away. They take Nightfall down. The he's Doom down 90. has been dropped down onto Watson. Mirror. He's in on top of the TA. Follow up stun here. Safe. Getting a beautiful angle from the high ground. They're able to bring Watson down. Mirror. He should fall here as DM turns to take him down. No one's getting quite a bit of a cleanup here. GPK, the last one left alive. Tries for a TP out, but no one comes in with the remnant of the series. Yatoro keeps on putting himself out there with the Lincolns behind him and stuff. But there's a possibility that him. they get the pin back into the Requiem, and they got him! This time they land it. They have to beware of the buyback zone. So Marl jumps in off of that one. Quickly kills the bad rider. Don't have to worry about that nuisance. That's a dieback for him. Mew with his BKB will be able to get back, but a good wall on this high ground. Slows him down even get further. Marl is looking for these tossbacks. He just charges forward with the surge and with the backing back in. They've got the big Mars. But a Requiem back in with Shiro. Hits the tiny and he drops to the deck. Echo is able to back away from Yatoro as well. Yatoro using his BKB, not able to get a kill until they go back for Shiro. So Mira and Collapse and Maposhka have all the disables in Yutoro's. I like it. It's been doing a lot. It has been. It's been saving heroes. So it's going to be the jump forward for Noob. See it whisper. It's going to get caught by the silence. The Supernova and the Arena out. Can they take Look at the, the sun ray. down? I mean, it's burning. It's Brilliant. melting them. And the Supernova is an easy success. It didn't even take a single hit on it. They couldn't even touch it. They've lost three heroes. They're going to lose Omar as well. Oh, there he is. West, this is nice. absolutely and then you have some of the AOE from the Huskar. It's, oh, flick the, the wrong point. direction. Gonna have to charge his way to the Chen army. They've got Duraccio in a pretty good spot. The Blender going out trying to stop this one. Duraccio, maybe he's too strong though. They have to grab him with a pulverize to stop some of this. Amar goes in trying to finish him off with this Chaos Knight. He's just not dying easy with a pipe and a Crimson Guard. It all goes wrong as they all in for the Chaos Knight and they fail to get the kill. And now they'll pay the price for it as three members gonna get run down with the Hoodwink nowhere to run to. A fourth member added to the to 33 going for this damage fill. I'm not saying it's wrong, it's just something oh, that Burrow. Go. Two man Burrow strike. A great start already with Mickey dead at the very start of the engagement. This one's over for Liquid, I assume, as I don't know how they're going to be able to do this without the Razor. And he's just certainly going to try as he's going for Ramses, gets surrounded by Chaos Knight Illusions. A big stinger hit to finish off the Jikiro and the Visage together. And Boxy's not making it out of here either. A charge to keep the vision. Plenty of stuns to follow. This time, a fight. Nothing. Aggressive Good charge. high ground war. Oh, they wanted in. to go for it. Nisha, Clip Nisha. Now he's the one with the Aegis. So it looks like Liquid might be right and give the Aegis to him. His top's in trouble. Almost gets bursted. Does manage to get out the blood stone. But Mickey just commits. And Ramsey's dead off the missile. A roll on through will nail the Rubik as well. Triple kill for him. And Nisha. He just kept on chasing with that Aegis. Gets nine class on top of all that. Stepping up a bit far. He was set up with a bushwhack. Has burst him quickly. They get the Doom on Ami. Start the fight. Indeed, he's going to get jumped out of the fight for now with the cookie. Burr strike coming in from Nightfall straight over towards XM. The Sandstorm's down. GPK's in with the Rolling Thunder. They focus the Sand King. They're able to take out XM. Now Nightfall turns his attention over towards DY. Another kill to be found here for the Morphling. Turns back into the Sand King. Burr strike down over towards catching at the Dark Seer. XX is taken fight. out as well. Nightfall. Well on Nightfall. Like he will delete here as well. Hello. XX is jumping in. He's gonna get the BKB off, but the Doom gets laid down onto him. Ami's gonna step forward, they're gonna try and fight this, he's but this down. Dark Seer, he's out of the fight. And XXX is gone, Ami just gets completely burst down by Nightfall. The Vision, XX and they have the Doom. Big. He's in as well, they get the Telekinesis on towards Nightfall, but Nightfall's able to put the BKB, turns right over, and the second Doom gets laid down, Ami's out of the fight, XM's gone, this game, it's, it's gotta be over.
Oh, what a fight. I mean, save just sitting on the ward. The dark team just runs into him. Hey? Sure. He's close. If they get a kill, they'll have enough money in the team fight. They're going to spot things out of the two. So Collapse is going to try and find his target. He's in. He's going to drop the Doom down oh, on towards the Sensor. Now they turn over towards Noob. Lal is right clicking pretty Jeez. hard, but Noob's able to put the cheese back up to full HP. The song from TA2000 used as an effort to reset the fight and find the chance to get on top of the squishies. They're going to look towards the Doom straight away. In with the burrow strike. They make the jump over towards Lal. Take him down. A lot of Noob damage coming die. out from Rodan as he's able to turn, take Noob out. But Malik's in on top of him with the Who stop. They close in on the Clink to bring Rodan down as well. Now they can Turnover over was collapsed. Press trying to clean them up one by one, but indeed the buybacks from both Lal and Radan coming in. Noob also potting over towards the siege creep. He's got the power strike on towards Maposhka. Maposhka's gone. That's going to be collapsed out for good. And the same to be said here for Maposhka and for Mira. The three of them dead without buyback. He does not seem too intimidated, though. He wants to take this fight with the coil. It, it, the Dragon Knight's already down to half. They coil. No, wait, swap. Swap back in. Nightfall's on top of him, though. He's trying to finish off Pure, but he can't quite get the ensnare. The BKB and the movement speed is allowing him to stay away. Finally gets it now, but you can see the armor. Nightfall's really not doing that much damage. It's up to GPK. He's got to do all Troll of it. To and he does it. manage to do so. The Dragon Knight goes down. Troll goes back into it. The Rubik, he's trying to throw the Whirling Axes around. He gets the Glide Near, throws the damage out in Nightfall. Can he do it? Gramsci swap back once again and a Storm Hammer to pull him down the troll finally dies but gpk is having the freest team fight of his life man nobody is touching this puck and he is the building it dies so it's fast it's gone it's gone <laughs> take the fight. activated it's gone they're gonna take the megas here can bb team win the fight though the bloodstone going up from top and he's staying alive the requiem goes off on the dragon i think do manage to kill bull the Megas is achieved for Tundra, but BB Team finally puts together. Oh, 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 Ramsey's went back in, and they're actually going to try and buy back. Take this one with a beautiful Macro Pyre Ice Path on top of a vacuum that wipes them out, and GG is called. That is it. Tundra, a definitive blow that knocks out BB Team of the tournament. Pure gets his revenge when it matters most, as he has silenced the haters with back to back. Really does feel like he is unkillable at this point, even before too. He hasn't died. 4 0 4. Jump! The vacuum combo. It's a nice three man vacuum wall and a stun. K2000 has BKB. Oh, he does, and it's a good job he does. He's able to turn folks towards Crypt. The false promise comes out. They've lost Omar. 2000 hours to back off. Omar is in. He's killing the back lines. He's able to jump in, take down Ducalis. He's got the Rolling Thunder controlling Malik. He'll try and surge away, but the Yule Scepter comes into play. Triple kill for Amar. They can't get a kill. Yeah. Now they drop Ward Sentry. Got Bug on two. Does get taxed by the Burrow Strike, but the rest of the game is fighting against the Ults here. And now they're being split up on the side of Liquid. 33. He pops one stone, trying to stay alive. Gets off the epicenter, but it can't heal him enough. Mickey is going straight to Quinn. This doesn't look good at all. I mean, he's good got luck. his BKB and he's hitting him. He's hitting him. But the Shall Grave is eventually going to come out from Quinn. And Mickey's going to run out. Static Storm gets thrown out. But the BKB was still up, so the Shallow Grave goes through. And Mickey does eventually manage to kill he's Quinn. He's actually out. fighting through this one. He almost kills Duraccio as well. That was actually kind of impressive, but it's still Game of Gladiators obviously winning the fight. Hop out of the pit to try and take the fight into Falcons. Snaking has to use his ult to slip away. Pure running forward, diving forward through the trees, getting information. Maureen, he gets his jump in alongside of Mar. Let's see what the Primal Roar is going to go on the Chaos Knight. He just gets blown up right away. Skeeter does not last long. He tries to get out Phantasm Manta, but he cannot get out of the Wukong's command. It's too much for him. So yeah, they stopped the Faces Void from getting off the time zone, but they've lost their carry. Amar and Maureen are going to have to do it, the two of them, up against this Monkey King, and it looks like they've got it. They just Liquid with the, with the high ground. Maureen. Maureen's going to get caught first. They catch up with the silent. Dream Call to follow up as well. Boxy straight in. And Maureen's able to get the, off to the side of the Rolling Thunder. He is away. Skeeter, he's in with the BKB. Pop the battle charge. Looks straight over towards Boxy. Boxy gets They break the Lincolns. Boxy still surviving. Finally falls. Maureen jumps over there off the cliff here. Mar Mickey ready to start. Skeeter's in trouble. And then Mickey can start hitting back now. Now the BKB and the battle chance has come to an end. Skeeter's got nothing to save himself. Mar. He'll try and run, Manisha jumps forward. They're gonna be able to catch him as well. Liquid. Four. Duraccio is gonna stay alone inside the pit. Try and finish up the Roshan. And Liquid's gonna be here too late. 
Hades is already picked up. They're in position. This is not good. Liquid has no way out of this one, so they just have to commit. They're going to go for oh, Quinn here first. Hit him with the Rolling Thunder. Not too bad, but the with gone. the Monkey God, there goes much of their damage. They've thrown a Ravage and a Rolling Thunder and everything they have to be able to kill Quinn. They're struggling to get it. The pipe is keeping them alive. They run out of damage for the second time. And before the fight is even done, the fight is done in Liquid. They call it in game one. Well, the question of... Play around it. Almost got him with a blood grenade, but not quite. Boxy almost bursted by the Singer. Stolen Burrow Strike, though, will halt Quinn. He's oh, running after one. him with the bugs on him, but a hook shot, a toss. Oh, look, got some of that damage. Meanwhile, Nisha, he's still got the bug on him as well. The Burrow Strike got a punch to the backside. Ace is able to finish him off, but Quinn is in deep. He managed to hit the Stinger, got another kill. He's now on the run. Celery trying to cover him. Mickey, black hole on two. Dodge 33 the misses the Axis. Quinn comes back in with the Stinger and kills him both and stays alive. Beautiful stuff from the Sand King and 33 caught from behind by... Nisha, he's gonna try for it. Quinn starts the initiation. Trying to make himself the target, activating that unit. And Nisha gets the toss into the Requiem, trying to combo on to Ace. They go for the Primal Roar. So many ultimates being used to try and kill him. And there's the time lapse. They saved Ace. Now they've got the black hole on the SF. And they are going to demolish Liquid. Triple BKB does nothing for you when you are flat out, outgunned, outplayed. Four dead. GG is called the cleanest series of your life. Game and Gladiators take it 3-0 away from Liquid. There's not much left to say about this series between these two teams. We have seen it before. We see it again here, but this felt... Looks like he took that mid lane away from Liquid. They will approach the trophy that they worked so far hard for last year. But this year is the year of Game and Gladiators. The absolute kings of the early game. An extremely dominant tournament throughout. And there you have it. Give it up for your champions, Gaming Gladiators.